Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Well, it only took about 30 minutes for me to find my dormitory room. Oh, I'll be glad when I'm out of this place. All right, I'm here. Is the Inquisitor instructed? Hey, what? Master wants to see you in his office immediately. Uh, um, for what? I don't know. But he sounds pretty furious. Furious? All right. Are you going that way? Can I follow you? Tareen. You survived. Not now. All right. Where where is Dalamus office? It's like I can never find these places. Here we are. Uh-oh. Oh, hello, everyone. Everyone's here. Let's begin. Tareen, shut the door. And don't let anyone in or out until the Master says so. As you wish. As most of us already know, there has been a series of most unfortunate events in our family. We lost two recruits on logistic duty. Urzob the Smith, Cosius Entius, and then my mentor and beloved brother, the Dave Arathan. For weeks of Peric's careful tracing, and with help of our old friend, Little Bird, we were able to identify the killer as a mole from fanatics. I swear my life to the brothers and sisters who are now walking the dead land. The mole will be caught and shall taste the bitterness of vengeance. Peric, begin the Inquisition. Since the death of Orzab, the mandatory reports have been issued. As of now, almost everyone has visited me at least once in my office. With a collection of reports and messages from Little Bird, I was able to narrow it down to three possible suspects. These three. Ornias, Sabanunai, and this acolyte here have either provided inadequate information or have been pointed as suspects. What? That's absurd. Oh. All right, Dalamus is holding a trial, and you're being accused of a potential... Accused as a potential mole from the Order. Your response is... Gasp, with two eyes wide open. What? Defend yourself? I'm not the mole? <laughs> Laugh out loud, psychotically. I'm going to gasp, with two wide eyes open. Now, Sabanunai, what were you doing during the night the two logistics were murdered? I was with Cassius. He was complaining about the air vent not functioning as expected. Do you have a witness who can confirm that claim? Sadly, Fidave was the only other person with me at the time. Or Nias, tell me again what you were doing during the night when the death of the logistics occurred. Come on, Peric, I was... I was drunk. I don't keep track of what I do. And what about you, Acolyte? Tell us what you were doing. Hmm. Case, the death of two logistics, your response is... Answer appropriately, sir, I wasn't even here when those two died. Explain briefly, I was getting tortured by the fanatics. Ridicule the Inquisition. Yes, I admit it. I killed those two. I'm going to answer appropriately. He's right. We were getting thrown into the jail after the torture. He can't be the murderer. 
In that case, that acolyte can't be the mole. Beric, why did you say that it could be him? Because I told him so. You know, I've been thinking. We are assuming the operation of just one mole. But what if? What if there were more than just one? In such case, I appeared after the first murder. Would be quite a convincing reason. But it could also blind us from recognizing the first mole. <clears throat> Next inquiry. The death of Orzab Shuzgub. We found Orzab's dead body in her own smithing room. Orzab is known to lock the door quite tightly, all the time. The mole must have broken in somehow. I've devised two scenarios. Someone either picked the lock and murdered her, or someone poisoned her food and delivered it to her. What about the possibility that someone sneaks inside of the metal crates and assassinate her when she brings it into her room? I suppose that's also a plausible alternative. Now, Sabanunai, tell us what you were doing the day Ozab died. I was in my office, reading books and organizing the material list for Cassius. What about you, Oranias? What were you doing? I think I, uh, um, I think I was cleaning the kitchen. The kitchen was filthy, very, very filthy. Hmm. When you came to my office, you reported that you were cutting vegetables all day for Fedev's special meal. Oh yeah, that too. The filthy rats ate all the cabbages. I was cutting cabbages all day. What about you, Acolyte? What were you doing? <laughs> the death of Urzog Shuzgub. My response is to appeal to Vaden. I believe I was on a mission to re retrieve the Zoxies. Provide a suitable alibi. I was out for usual logistics duty. Frame Oranius. Oranius must have killed Urzob. I saw him going into the smithing room. I'm going to appeal to Vaden. Yes, I did send you on a mission with Tarin and Elano. The Acolyte did a great job. Vaden, I'm sorry for saying this, but your daughter is really good for nothing. Hang on. How do we know for sure that the murder took place while they were gone? Because Helenu and the Acolyte showed up right after we discovered Orzob's dead body. Considering the fact that Orzob's dead remains weren't too rotten when I discovered them, it's reasonable to assume that the murder took place when Tareen and her crew were away. Hmm. Proceed. Next case. Death of Cosius Entius. Hold on. Hasn't Kosius been killed by his own magic anomalies? Yes. I am sure he was killed by an accident. But it strikes me as odd, knowing that he conducted over a hundred different dangerous experiments. However, he never got himself into much trouble. But suddenly, when we have a mole infestation, he gets killed by his own summoning. Let us suppose the worst and say he wasn't killed by an accident. What do you people have to say for yourselves? Cosius was a good man and I had absolutely nothing to do with his death. 
He was a genius, but too stubborn to be open-minded. I used to warn him that his experiments would cost him his life someday. All right, in the case of Kosius' death, I can express agony towards his death. I feel sorry for him. I can repeat after Oranius, I have absolutely nothing to do with his death. Or I can blame Kosius for his own death, that he got what he deserved. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and express agony. His death was not an accident, but clearly a murder. Kosius was on the verge of decrypting the Zarzis. I agree. At least he taught me enough to get it to work. After this trial, Varden and I will be heading into the portal. Speaking of which, Peric, remind me again once we are done with this trial. There is something I need to tell you. I will. Next inquiry. We have a report from Little Bird. He pointed out that the mole was tailing him when Vaden left to meet him. The mole made a mistake and fell into his trap of Inferno instead. Hmm. Oranias, you seem burned lately. Haven't you been into the kitchen? Anyone who works there eventually gets burned up. Hmm. I haven't been outside the library since the death of Cassius. You can ask anyone. All right, my whereabouts when Vaden left the cave to meet Little Bird appeared to Dalamus. I was busy searching for the Master's razor. Huh. Provide a suitable alibi. I was cleaning the stockroom with Aline. Or lie. I have never left the cave since Kosius died. I'm going to appeal to Dalamus. That is irrelevant. We would like to know exactly what you did when you stepped out of the cavern. Actually, it is not entirely irrelevant. I've spent decades or more my entire life searching for the razor of Merune's Dagon. Although he did not find it. The task requires much effort and time outside of the cavern. I do not need to hear the details about it. As you wish. The next inquiry is the death of Fede of Arathon. I, I have the, the escape razor. Of the prisoner Lorbel. Two of them. Until the master mentioned it earlier in the trial, I didn't even know Fede had passed away. Like I said before, I rarely leave the library. I was making for Dovi's special meal all day. When I got to his office, he was gone. Oranias, were you aware that the prisoner from Fedave's prison escaped through the kitchen's secret passage? Someone escaped through the kitchen? What are you asking me if someone escaped through the kitchen? Because you are the only one who knew about the secret entrance in the kitchen. Furthermore, for Dave thought you were trustworthy enough to be placed there. In addition, the guard captain already clarified. No one else passed through the main entrance. Ornias, answer honestly and your punishment might be reduced to a much more bearable one. Did you kill Fedave and free Lorbel? What? I did not kill Fedavi. He is the only one who approved of me. Why would I do such a thing? Oranius, you knew about the prisoners, and you were at the kitchen all day when Lorbel escaped. I really don't believe that you didn't know Lorbel escaped through the kitchen. This trial is a jest. I'm being victimized for no good reason. Keep your objections to yourself, Oranius. Enough. Let me hear. 
the acolyte, as to say. Hmm. All right, so my response, wink at the Inquisitor. I was with the Inquisitor. Provide a suitable alibi. I was quite busy with fuel tank. Frame Oranias. I saw Oranias putting poison in Fadave's food. Or Fadave, as some people call him. Oh, boy. I hate to do this. But this might be the only way to cast suspicion somewhere else. I saw Oranias putting poison in Fadave's food. No way. I only put poison in the dishes that I used to kill the rats. You put poison on the dishes that you serve us with. I only drop poison into rusty old dishes. Trust me, I don't use those for serving food. And you never saw our prisoner escaping through your kitchen? You know what? The Zakala here distracted me. He told me to get out of the kitchen. That must be when the prisoner got away. Uh-oh. What? Acolyte, why did you distract him? I have to say... I am in doubt, Acolyte. Something doesn't add up. Other than the death of logistics, your reasons are vague at best. I am still not convinced that you are fully innocent. All right, Dalamus is blatantly accusing me. Raise my voice. I saved Psalms and protected Halanu. What more do I have to do to prove myself? Criticize our Arathians. Unbelievable. I've done all the tasks given by the Arathans, and this is how you treat me? Expose yourself. You're right. What are you going to do about it? All right. I'm going to raise... Well... Hmm... No, raising my voice usually is an indication of guilt. I'm going to criticize Arathans. Unbelievable! I've done all the tasks given by the Arathans, and this is how you treat me. That's enough. I believe I know who the mole is. The one who murdered our brothers and sisters. The one who was sent by the fanatics to destroy the work of Mythic Dawn. The Mole is... Uranius. What? I'm innocent. I'm not the Mole. Tarin. Give that traitor what he deserves. What's going on? I can't even move. What was that? All over now. Master, you wanted a word with me? Now what? We've got some good news. Yes. I what is it? To create a portal to take us to the realm which we can rebuild the oblivion. Yes. What is it? I planned to take for Dave, Varden, and Little Bird. But Great. For Dave now what? And Little Bird won't be able to come here soon enough. Oh, I can move now. I was thinking about substituting you and Salms instead. What do you say? I'm honored. One question. Can the portal take more than four souls? 
If Cosius was here, he probably could have done so. But unfortunately, at the moment, this was all I could do. Come back here when you are ready. I can't wait to get it started. All right, well, good day, Dalamus. Thank you. Psalms. I can't believe we got away with this. Oh, where did he go? Oh. I'm sorry, Oranius. You were a good man, I'm sure. random ingredients. Interesting. Peric. Thanks for the help. Wait, who's this? Where are you going? How are you holding up? I'm right for Lord Dagon. Doing the best I can for somebody being accused of a mole. All right, Peric, I'm I'm leaving. Come on. He's not coming out here, is he? I think I lost my opportunity to speak with him in private. All right, well, apparently he's not going to come out of this room. Maybe if I cast some sort of spell so that the others won't be able to hear us talking. Thanks for the help. I almost thought Dalamus was going to get me. There's no time for chit-chat. Dalamus is trying to open a portal to his paradise as we speak. First things first, we let Dalamus take the Sigil Stone to his paradise, where he enchants it with a powerful spell. When it's enchanted, it can cause massive destruction. The perfect source to be planted inside a fuel tank to blow up the Mythic Dawn hideout. We are going to blow this place up. Indeed. I've been trying to rig that fuel tank for a long time. Unfortunately, rigging it isn't enough to cause sufficient amounts of destruction. Recalling what Lorbel said, the Sigil Stone's a powerful relic. It should do the trick. Are we going to have enough time to escape once the fuel tank is rigged? Escape? We are the martyrs of Stendar. My good child, we already died the moment we became the agents of righteous might. Hmm. However, if we're lucky enough to have some spare time, there might be a minute or two. Okay, fine. What do I do once you're gone with the Arathans? Once the portal's up, Dalamus will probably jump in first. He's been too eager to get into his own paradise. 
Then the rest of the Arathans will jump into it. Wait until all three of them go inside, and then proceed into the portal. What about you? You heard, Dalamus. It can only take four people maximum. Besides, the fuel tank needs to be properly dismantled before getting it rigged. While you're gone, I'll prepare the tank down there. Remember, your primary objective is to grab the Enchanted Sigil Stone. Wait until Dalamus enchants the Sigil Stone, and then grab it, as soon as it's available. Killing Arathen should be your secondary objective. How about you get into the portal and I rig the fuel tank? Because I don't have time to teach you how to dismantle it. Also, Snadman's coming. Dalamus mentioned his delay, but he's definitely on his way. Believe me, I have unfinished business with him. And how do I get out of the paradise? From what Lorbel described, once you grab the enchanted sigil stone, it should teleport you back to the location you entered. Now, get yourself ready, and meet me back here before heading out to Dalamus's office. Uh, what? I'm not sure how I failed Paradise Lost when I had Merun's Razor and Cameron's Staff. Okay, so... I guess he's not coming back here to his office. Alright, well, let me sit and meditate for a bit and prepare myself for a trip to oblivion.